In today's video, we are going to talk about Google Keep Complete Tutorial for Beginners. Myself, Mohammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, Google Keep is a note-taking service that has been included as part of free web-based Google Doc editor suite that is offered by the Google. And this service includes Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drawings, Google Forms, Google Sides, Google Slides, etc. and etc. And there are a lot of other things that you can do with your Google Keep. For example, you can collaborate with your teammates, your colleagues, you can customize your list and notes, you can make your list, you can take different notes and use it as task manager etc. First of all, let's talk about how can we access Google Keep. First one is open your Google browser and you will see Google Apps icon on the top right corner along with your profile picture of your account. Just click on it and scroll down and down here you will see an icon with Keep. So just click on it and it will open a Google Keep. Other than that, open your Google browser and just write here Google Keep. Hit enter and click on the first link that says Google Keep and it will also take you to your Google Keep account or your Google Keep window. Okay, first of all, let's talk about how we can create a note. Well, here you can see we have a bar in here. If you just click on it and here it says title, click on title and write the name of the title that you want to create. So I'll write here items list and then down here it says take a note. Write those things that you want to keep into your note. I'll write here toys, eggs, milk, fruits and you can keep going on. I'll add one more in here and I'll write here clothes. Now in order to save this or in order to create this node as you can see it is not created yet just click anywhere on your screen and it will create a node for you. Now if I hover over this here you can see different options have appeared down here and here we have one more. First of all here it says remind me just click on it. And from here you can make a reminder for later today and here is the time for tomorrow for next week as well. Let's click on later today and here we have a reminder. Now in case if you want to remove this reminder just hover to your reminder and click on this cross button. Now again I'll go back here what I can do I can again click on reminder and from here I can select a particular date then I can set a particular time and then I can select if I want this reminder to be repeated or not. And not only that, we also have the option to go custom in terms of reminding this particular node. You can just click on save. But if you go back here, we have pick a place as well. It means if you just click on it from here, I'll allow my location. And from here, you can write any location in here. I'll write here Starbucks. So if I just click on it, if I click on save, well, what it will do now? As soon as I get to this Starbucks cafe, my Google Keep will remind me of this list. Or you can say that I have picked a place of a store. And as soon as I get to that store, my Google Keep will remind me about this list and eventually it will remind me about buying these things. So how good is that? Okay, after reminder, we have a collaborator. Let's say you have created a list for a hiking, for a party or for outgoing activity. For that purpose, you want to add people in this particular Google Keep node. So here, just write the name of the person that you want to add. So I'll write here a name and here I have all those people appearing in here. I can add this person. Now after this one, I can add other people too. Just hit enter and write the name of other person. So here I have other options. I can click on any one of these, hit enter and I can keep going on. Now 
in order to save this and in order to make sure that you are sure to share all your nodes over this person in fact not all nodes but only this one just click on save i'll remove these people i'll click on save and now we are good to go after collaborator here you can see we have background options either we can go with simple colors as you can see we have different options or we can go with already available images in terms of groceries this is the default one or the recommended one then it says food this says music recipes notes places and many more let's go for groceries as we have created this list for our grocery after that we have add image it means you can add your own image as a background to your notes and from here you can go to the directory where you have images available and you can select that image okay we are done with the background now we have an option that says archive if i just click on it google keep will archive your notes instantly and in order to see all your archive notes here we have a tag that says archive just click on it and here we have our note in order to unarchive it again click on the same option that you have used earlier and here we have our notes into the main section other than archive if you see here we have more options just click on it and from here you can delete your note directly you can add label i'll come to that later then we have add drawing it means in case if you want to add your own personal drawing as a background of your note you can do so if i just click on it I can pick a pen from here, I can draw different things, I can do different things in here. And now if we just click on this back arrow, here you can see and now this is the pad of my node. I will just click anywhere onto my screen and this is how it looks like now. So this option is very beneficial for those who want to add some of their own personalized logos, their designs and different other things. I'll just click on it again and other than drawing we can make a copy of this particular node so i will just click on it and here if you see there is only one difference and that is the reminder in the original node is not there in the copy of this node so that's a good thing and that's a bad thing for some people as well as i only wanted a list and not the reminder that is why i have made a copy so in that particular circumstances this is a very good thing but let's say i wanted to have everything from the original in that circumstance it was not good i'll just delete this copied node and now i have the original one i'll again click on more option and here it says show check boxes that's a really good feature if i just click on it what it will do it will create a checklist for everything into my node for example here i have checklist or you can say check button for every item into my list as soon as if i click on any one of these you will see a line appearing in here and they will be separated here you can see toys are down here eggs are down here milk is down here fruits and then clothes in order to uncheck all of these you can do so very easily so that's a really good feature and it increases the productivity of using your google keep other than check boxes you can hide them as well and then we have grab image text it means if you have any image used and you want to grab the text out of it you can do so then here it says copy to google docs i'll come to that later now let's talk about add label if i just click here let's say i have hundreds or thousands of notes into my google keep and it is getting really hectic for me to find out a particular one what i can do i can sort my labels or i can sort my notes as per the labels let's say this belongs to the shopping so what i can write here i can write here shopping hit enter and here if you see we have a tag appeared here with the label shopping and we have the icon of label in here as well now let's create an other note in here and this time i'll write here sports down here you can write anything and after that i'll just create this note and in terms of its label i'll write here outdoor activities hit enter and now if you see we have outdoor activities available in here as well so now i'll create another note and i'll show you one very important thing or a very cool feature this time i'll write here food 
and down here what I can do I can write anything as per my liking so I'll keep some random data into this one and now if I go to its label if I just click here on add label here we have two options outdoor activities or shopping it means I already have the options available to add this particular note into any label that are already available if I click on outdoor activities I will just click anywhere onto my screen and now if I click on outdoor activities here you can see all those nodes that are under the label of outdoor activities are appearing in here I'll go back now let's talk about something else if you remember we created our nodes by clicking onto this bar but here we have a checkbox that says new list what it will do well if you just click on it it will allow you to create a new node straight away from your list items you can name your title anything i'll name it as hockey and down here what i can do i can write the names of the player or i can write any information regarding this node so i'll write some random information in here and here you can see we have one checkbox appeared here in case if you want to add more just keep writing and keep hitting enter and it will keep entering or keep adding your checklist into your node and this is how it looks like i'll just cross everything and i will just close this one and i'll delete this one as well because i just wanted to show you how it works other than that here we have new node withdrawing it means it will start or it will allow you to create your node straight away from a personalized drawing into your google keep as you can see here if i go with this one option and if i go back this will allow me to start my node with this thumbnail i'll just get out of this and last option is node with image it means if you just click on it it will allow you to create your node having a background straight away so here you can go to the place where you have an image and you want to add that image onto your node and then it will allow you to create your new node well before we move ahead here i want to do one thing and that is i want to add a background color so for that i'll just click this one and we are good to go why i have done that well i have done that because i want to show you a very cool feature of google keep if you just click on this search area what it will do it will allow you to search different nodes as per the reminders images drawings etc let's say i want to search through those nodes that have remainder in them so i'll just click on it and here i have a node that have a remainder in it just again click on it and i'll click on this cross button now you can go for your images as well i'll just click on it i don't have any node with an image but i do have some with drawings if i click here i have two in here now this time here we have labels down here we have things then we also have colors available so if i just click on colors here i have two colors that are available i'll go with red and here i have a node with a color so how cool is that that it allows you or it helps you to find out your nodes from your available lists other than that here we have different things for example if you go into your remainder section it will show you only those nodes that have remainders then these are your labels and in case if you want to edit a particular label you can do so you can delete these labels that are already available if i click on this shopping and i i just delete it i'll click on delete and it is no more in here i'll just click on done and i'll create one more label in here why i want to do this i'll show you one thing very cool in here so i'll just click here and i'll click on change labels and i'll create new one i'll write here again outdoor activity hit enter and now we have two labels with outdoor activities and outdoor activity okay these two names are particular similar so what i'll do here i'll create one more label i'll name it as abc hit enter now there is very cool feature and that is if you just click on this bar you can title your note anything i'll name it as games and in terms of note if i write here hashtag it will show me all the labels that are available already into my google keep just select anyone and down here it has already taken a label on its own and in case if you want to delete that label 
just hover over it and it says delete or go to that particular level so how cool is that now i'll talk about one of the last feature of google keep and that is just go to more option of your any of your note and go to copy to google docs i have just done that so i'll open my google docs now so here we have a note or a document with the name of who it means we have successfully copied our note to our google docs now this time i'll open my google calendar why i'm doing this well there is a very cool feature that i want to show you and that is this is my calendar and here i have my google keep let me just click on this cross button and in case if you do not see this panel in here at the bottom right corner you will see an arrow just click on it and it will open this panel and here we have google keep if i just click on it here i have all those notes that i have created into my google keep and i can access all of those from here i can edit them i can add different things in them and i can do some of the things in here if you just click on menu you can archive it you can delete it and you can go to your google keep in order to open that particular note and now i'll talk about one of the last feature of google keep for this video and that is if you hover over to any of your note here it says pin note you can just click on it and it will pin your note at the top of your list other than that you can unpin it as well so these were some of the features that you should know about google keep now at the end i'll talk about some of the settings that you can perform for example let's say you have used your google keep from your mobile app and you have created some notes and when you have opened your google keep from your desktop it doesn't show that particular note well in that circumstances or in that scenario just click on this button that says refresh and you will have your notes in here and other than that here it says list view it will show you everything in a list view then here we have a setting gear just click on it you can enable your dark theme you can have help you can send feedback about using your google keep then you can download its app and here we have keyboard shortcuts for google keep i'm interested in settings i'll just click on it and here it says add new items to the bottom move checked item to the bottom display rich link previews it means if you have added a link into your node what you want to do you want to have a particular image of that particular website or of that particular link you can uncheck it as well and down here it says enable dark theme and here is the remainder default time in here you can change it as well you can customize it and down here it says sharing sharing is enabled this time and these were some of the options i'll just get out of this and that was all about today's video i hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care